I'm the Doberman Guy, and today I'm going to tell you why you should do a lot of research and what questions should you ask a breeder before getting a Doberman puppy. But before we go, if this is your first time here and you want to know everything about the Doberman, consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. The first thing you need to do is to search for the breeder's name on the internet. Usually, if someone is an unethical breeder, you should be able to find out with a simple search. In general, you should pay the money for a good dog, but you need to know how to spot if a breeder is good or not. Signs of a good breeder whose puppies are worth the price are the following. Ask for health exams on both parents. This includes graded heaps and tests for genetic diseases known in the breed such as von Willebrand's disease, DCM, also known as dilated cardiomyopathy, or Vobler syndrome. Vaccinations are extremely important and should be up to date on all their dogs. Also, don't forget to check if both the mother and their puppies have a deworming program. Check if the female is at the proper age. If the female is being bred too soon, run away. A dog should be a minimum of two years old before her first pregnancy. Breeders that cannot wait should not breed their dogs. Ask about vet schedule for the female and litter. Both puppies and females should receive a vet check. When this is done depends on the breeder and their vet. The vet will check for health and abnormalities. Ask if they have a vaccination schedule for the puppies. All puppies should be vaccinated at 6 weeks old. There are a lot of puppy vaccinations. However, the breeder should be able to provide information on what they vaccinate against and why. Ask about proven temperaments in both parents. What do you want your Doberman to do? Schutzhund? Show? House pet? Puppies should be at least 8 weeks old before going to their new homes. Even better, it's 10 to 12 weeks old. If someone tries to sell you a 6-week-old puppy because they don't want to deal with the sheer amount of poop they produce and food they consume, run away and never go back. It's extremely bad to the physical and mental health of the puppy. I hope this video will help you on getting your new puppy. But you can also consider adopting an older Doberman from a rescue. If you have additional questions, feel free to write them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.